<laughs> would... Yeah, South Africa's got its own troops now down here and everything. How cute. They want to build submarines of the swordfish class. <laughs> Fine. And pesky swordfish. Mm-hmm. I might declare war on Abyssinia when I can. Can you do that early? I have to wait till we go to war. Like, when I join you, I'm sure my mm. neutrality will go down. And obviously, I don't do it historically till the beginning of this. Well, just before the Second World War. I forgot to influence you. Yeah, I get an event anyway, which pops me in no matter what. But if you can bring me in early, then it's always yeah. nice. Well, you should align so that he doesn't need to waste points on you. Oh, but I'm worth it, Prussian Prince. I am worth it. <laughs> South African Union. Okay, so I've formed South Africa now, yeah, and I get some manpower and stuff like that. They sent me men, I guess. I don't know why I'm keeping Maserao and Mambame, Mambane, but it's apparently what we're doing. Sutherland. Because they're the most important parts. Yeah, there's some German divisions here as well. <laughs> it's a brigade there. They got quite a lot of troops in Africa, actually. Depending on where you're looking at. Um, is everyone doing much? Because you can always stick it on five speed. Because I'm not really. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. I've uh, just split my course correctly, and the army is in London. My other divisions and everything are just by the ports now, waiting for transfer. Home or yeah. to France? Speed five. Hopefully, Jackie Fish doesn't crash. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be, <laughs> fi sure be fine. And even if it does slow down, we can just. Do it again in, yeah. <laughs> in a little bit. They always slow you down before you crash. I've never crashed like by yeah. speed. Yeah, game. so and I'm getting my new computer pretty soon, so cool. everything should be cool soon enough. Uh, every my yeah, my production will be done latest the this of very October, and I think uh, three of my yeah ships just finished up. My first submarine. I'm gonna stick that one in a destroyer. No, I'm gonna stick that one alone. HMAS Steward is gonna be in the. Uh, they can be together in there. HMS B11. It's a very cool name. I'll put them in. Uh, home Command. Yeah, guys, don't forget to check your ministers. Because I just found a guy with leadership modifier plus five percent and research efficiency plus five percent as well. Oh, I got so many! Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, James Ramston leadership is fit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I'd rather have him because he gives another five in leadership instead of just research efficiency. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Defense reinforcement, land organization, combat movement speed is pretty good. Oh, Lord John Gort. Lord John Gort. It's beautiful. Combat movement speed and attack reinforcement chance. We're going to be aggressive this time around. Nordic League. Why Nordic League? Oh, Alright. Crime fighter, Sir John Simon. Simon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sir Owen Boyd. Everyone's Sir. Everyone's absolutely Sir. Sir, 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 Sir. Yeah, I'll keep it to where it is because, mm, I don't know, ministers be ministering. I mean, like, a trick to building units is you just you just uh, put it on uh, volunteer army and then you'll just use less IC on making them. Will you really? Yeah, like, you can check it out. Uh, reserve penalty impacts. Yeah, you won't oh. be using as much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You take a look. Don't you have to set the units to reserves? Yeah, yeah. You? Oh, I don't. You have to do that. Then. My units oh, okay. are fully fledged, I think. Yeah, All right. I, I totally forgot to do that, so I just deleted a few. I mean, just redid it as reserves. Because it will be quicker and take less, I see. Yeah, I usually go with reserves, but I wanted to finish up uh, and make sure that I have exactly four course in yeah. one army to be like fully st a standing army and then I'll have the rest on reserves. I reckon I'll be at around 300,000 before the war, 400,000 maybe. Depending on how much I spend on it. I could obviously spend lots on the navy, but I don't feel that the navy is going to be necessary. This is going to be an all out land war for us. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 
Well, until I am Baby Prosh and Prey. I'm joking. You see, it seems <laughs> like you're quite fixated on that uh, <laughs> idea. The Russians right. have a massive army. <laughs> oh, if only you could see. It's, it's sad that I'm not in your alliance. So I can't actually see what you guys are doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we are stacking troops like one. <laughs> Maybe you're yeah, yeah, one province away from Wait, the border. You can't see them. <laughs> I will build radio towers everywhere. Even though Where's you can't. Spain? Spain is influenced by the Germans. It's the Germans. I'm going to influence them. Actually, I'm not. They could be a good place in the sun later on. <laughs> Gibraltar commanded. G Gibraltar garrison is just going to occupy Madrid. It, it's at zero, zero, so I think that's something to be feared. <laughs> that is, I hear... The lower the numbers on your unit cards is I've got four. Are. I've got four three on mine. Uh, two two majority of mine. Four three 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 is two two is the lowest, but three three seems to be the majority. I've got one three three, but I've got quite a few upgrades I need. Yeah, I've got twenty eight on upgrades, but I haven't spent it all. I'm focusing on production now. I can upgrade later on. We're not. So want to prepare my juicy army and send them off there. Hey, so. Prince, how about I cover the Belgian flank and you send stick yours on the Maginot line? Sure. Notice how you haven't got any forts there, but the Germans have got tons. I'm sure you probably get an event which yeah. forces you to Fort build them or something. Let's hope. Oh. I was playing with my f like one of my friends recently got this game and he didn't really know what was going on because it was like his first go and I looked over at his screen like about half a year into the campaign <laughs> and his national descent was over 300. <laughs> he was like, really? Can it go that high? <laughs> yeah. He was yeah, like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I haven't got any units. And, like I just, everything's not building and stuff like that. And I've run out it's of supplies. Just, like put everything on like, <laughs> like, like. Uh, Upgrades or supply and nothing on like. Yeah, uh, I was just like, yeah. "What have you done, <laughs> you fool?" Okay, that's cool. Okay, my transport ships are about to finish up together with. It's, it's funny how Home Command wants airplanes. What's airplanes? <laughs> we don't know what that is. What do you want? Flying things? Oh no, you must be kidding me. I have not produced them yet. Yeah, I'm gonna have the Italian Air Force, and it's gonna be an air force to be feared across the world. Japan annexed Korea. It's so sad. Wait, yeah, they didn't. They didn't start I'm owning them to begin with, so they must have done an event yeah. where they just took it from the Chinese. There's no K-pop anymore. No Gangnam Style. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. And it's Japan style now. <laughs> Japan, Japan, Japan style. It's funny how many views that video got online, actually. It's, it's like yeah. 1.2 billion. It's yeah, the, th the funny thing is, that's like more than several YouTubers who have made their living online for the last five years have in total. So, if one anyone got uploaded that video and got that many views, you're pretty much set economically yeah. for like 10 years. It's yeah, crazy. It's insane, actually, how much yeah, like, revenue that generates. Unfortunately for, for them, they didn't monetize the video. Did they not? Yeah, like I don't see any ads on it, so I guess it's. I think they have another advice. deal. To be honest, YouTube can have some cut separate deals, probably. Yeah, I'm sure they're giving them some money or something. Like oh well, uh, a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. I should say <laughs> to have that there. All right, my transport fleet is not fully fledged, but will be soon. Let's see how many transports do I have? I have five, which means I can move a core. Means you can invade the Prussian Prince successfully. <laughs> <laughs> See, Deflex is coming over <laughs> for more idea. Well, he he has no choice but to help me. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, he's the leader of the, no, the faction. Yeah, yeah. Well, I do actually. I don't know if you, if if you can uh, declare a limited war. Yeah, I'll just go to war with the Prussian Prince. I'll take all his lands, and then we'll make we'll make <laughs> peace. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> And then you'll release me as puppet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? Yeah, because you, you never really lose the game if you're part of a faction, so... Yeah. You still have your, like, Asian and African colonies yeah. to yeah. play around with. You can't deploy them in there, I think. Um, you should be able to deploy them in there if, if you're in exile. I'm pretty sure also, like, if worse comes to worse, I'm sure we can go into the files and try and change the Russians being in the triple entente. Oh, I am... Um, Labra laboratory export. 
I will change. I will give Sweden <laughs> cores and everything, and amp <laughs> their power back, up by ten. We, That'd be <laughs> funny. We'll use That'd be all funny your if... files, and then just Sweden has everything. You just changed yeah. it. They are Germany now. I just called my big BB fleet massive stack <laughs> of ships. Yeah. Where did you name it? Massive stack. <laughs> yeah, I just named it Massive Stack. <laughs> four BBs, 12 cruisers, and like four heavy cruisers. I'm just gonna name my armies like Geezer. First <laughs> Geezer Division, second Geezer Division. First Gentleman Division. First Peasant Division. Pleb. Plebeus. Chav Division. You're gonna have a Royal Chav Division. <laughs> must must be. I'm gonna rename the regiment in my. F Wait, where's my first. Like, where's a Chavy place? Um, uh, buffs. Buffs would be from around Kent. I don't think that's too Chavy, is it? No, Kent's pretty posh. All the South is relatively yeah. posh. I live in the Kent. South. Because the Buffs so. were the East Kent, I think. Queens. I don't. I think that means that they're royal in London. No, there's no real. Oh wait, Edinburgh. Would that be okay? No, that's like more like Jake's and shit, isn't it? Uh, Jake. Rosemary. Um, where's Rosemary? Or like Rosby? I don't know. Like. You should know. You're yeah, but I don't want to offend anyone if I say, oh, that place is not... really chatty. Yeah, but no, no, no. Okay, let's make it clear for anyone watching, like, if you're part of Britain. Um, in know. every part of... In every in every single part of Britain, there will be no one, at least one chap, <laughs> at least one pers uh, posh know. person. Luton's a bit rough. Luton? Yeah, sort of. Okay, let me get... Uh... And then just, like, around, like, Ipswich... Okay. I, used to, I used to live around there. I'm just going to take the 19th Labour Battalion and name it the 19th Chav Battalion. They will come in the end there and they will support me. <laughs> <laughs> in the All end, right. when I'm invading you. Yeah. <laughs> if you'd pull that through, if you'd pull through an invasion with me. Oh, wait, sorry, you'd forget to put the troops in. <laughs> if, if, it was if two you... units. It was two well, units. Yeah, two army groups with fifty thousand men. I'm joking. If you if you would be able to invade <laughs> as Italy, it would be then I would like faster. and somehow beat a hundred and forty three thousand men and the home fleet of by the way like a hundred plus ships. <laughs> then think... yeah, that's I... the most frustrating thing: losing your whole navy before they even made it to the point where they were going. And that's happened quite a few times actually. Oh, artillery is done lovely. Right artillery advances. Shame I haven't built any artillery yet. Upgrades so need so much. The more men you have, the more upgrades you need on them. Yeah, I know. To, oh, I just got a manpower increase by 40%. Lovely. Nice. Uh, almost Lots of diplomatic points. Hey, I think I'll do this on you all to be sure. Uh, no, I'm going to decline. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Joking. Map? Do not why? Do not want <laughs> non aggressive pack. Hey, yeah. sure, why not? Even though, like, well, how can you I, even. I, I don't know. Apparently, yeah. I could have declared. No, I don't know why. Because <laughs> later on, maybe in the future, if. You, you can actually get out of um, coalitions and factions if you, like, drift to another one. Yeah, well, maybe, like, after the First World War's over, everything. Like we split up and the common terms created, and that could be. Does it go cool. that far? It would be cool if it merged into Hearts of Round Three regularly. Yeah, but I, I doubt it does at this point in the mod. There's a save converter for Victoria Two, Crusader Kings, Europe and Universalis, Hearts of Round Three, so you can take a save in that you have in Crusader Kings Two, and then convert it to like Victoria Two, and then from Victoria Two convert it into Hearts of Round Three. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, so you can play on the same, you have the same territory. Because they have apparently the same territorial split. Like yeah, it's the same. They use the same, they use the same quad. Yeah, same. Egypt like. and stuff, so. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, do you want to stick it back up to five, and hopefully my computer will be able to yep. survive? Because if I just don't do anything, I'm sure it will last. Because I've just got troops building at the moment, so. Nice. My. This is funny because I've got, I've got four divisions here. Oh, Portugal Revolution! Newly recruited men with only four brigades instead of their opposing five brigade members, and they're on three three, and mine are on four three, and they're one brigade. No, they weren't. Never mind. I looked at the wrong thing. I feel like a fool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good, good. 
Hey Italy, I see you redeployed re all your units that were yeah, previously one, on the front line. One space <laughs> behind, obviously, so you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. I've put them all on the um, Austrian border. I might just yeah, them down. right. Like, like I believe you. <laughs> I, might, I might just put them down to the guys. Do not start a warning for them, please. It would be funny, right? No, but I think like after we've done this one, we should do like maybe like a versus or something. Yeah, I that'd think be that'd funny. Be quite fun. Then I think we should play in vanilla because Roller One is a little too sort of I don't know. It's too few factions that use. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I'd rather play like if you're gonna do a versus one, it should be simply common turn allies and uh, axes one in each. And if you do so, because uh, the allies can declare war in the common turn just as much as they can declare war in the axis. So that would be pretty funny. Like imagine allies and axes fighting together against <laughs> the, the common turn. Evil Soviet. <laughs> I would slot myself out to whoever's stronger out of you two and try, <laughs> try and get an alliance. Yeah. I'd just send you dirty pictures or something of myself and you would love it. I am sure. Okay. Production. Someone's sending me petitions through Steam tagging like Anchor 2012. Yay. Yeah. Alright. First, wait, wait, wait a second. I'm recruiting, recruiting um, another six divisions. One to attach to the one that is missing. One to form a full core, and another five to form the fourth and final core out of my two hundred thousand man army for now. And one of the divisions is called the First Indian Infantry. You what? <laughs> like, where would they come from? Indian. Why would I deploy them? <laughs> yeah, wait, are they like Pakistan immigrants that I deploy in England or something? What? What's going on? <laughs> You have better border controls, really. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure they have visas and such. Oh, my office is my office is at one hundred forty percent. I was not even looking at that. Yeah, mine's at one hundred forty percent as well. I think I'll give them a break now. Uh, mine's only at ninety-two. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Oh, um, my research is gonna go up to like twenty now. It's like a perfect time to attack you. <laughs> I'm starting to be a bit worried here, Jackie. No. Uh, I've, had a, I've had a meeting with the rest of the, the coalition leaders, and uh, I'm joking. We want, well, to, we want to expel you. Well, we've got we've got a non-aggressive pact, so. Oh, we do actually. Damn. I don't so know. Eventually, we can, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. fix it, research, so to say. <laughs> research is at twenty now. In this pace, I'm gonna like field space stations before you guys. <laughs> Space well, or space stations. So I don't know. Well, they probably had an idea of that. My research is on twenty-four. Well, see, so. not, that's where the Nazis went. So they must have some. Oh yeah, they did actually. You're went, right. Went to the moon. I don't see what the point of using. You see, when you auto control the unit, or if you put it on the AI, you can adjust the level. It says here the level advises your leaders of what type of tactics they should use oh, in yeah. battle the more aggressive. But you can still, when you click auto control, assign like defensive stance so what does it serve to have like an additional oh, actually or? that's um the one for ai control when you use ai control the stance actually affects how the units move on the strategic map but the actual uh, tactics control it's in combat tactics like it affects uh what's the chance of getting like assault or stuff like that All right. those kind of event events i think that's how it is Okay, hopefully, maybe. Oh, so I still think my home fleet is way too big. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, have to split my home fleet. It's massive. Got <laughs> You've got so many ships. Well, it's yeah. everyone's money at, at the moment. 2,087. Yeah, I'm, 606. I'm at uh, 200, which is not too good. Overall, everything else is relatively green, though. I've got negative metals and crude oil. Yeah. Apart from actually that. want some metal. You want to offer me some? <laughs> no, I'm negative metal. I've, I'm losing like, well, I'm not losing yeah. a lot. I'm losing like 50 a day. Why are they moving? Just got a random destroyer. Just went going around for no reason. A bit confusing. Hmm. How weird. So many admirals. Yeah. Right. 
There we go. Bam bam ba dam ba dam ba dam. So my uh Oh that's what happened. I accidentally stuck my well, I didn't accidentally I put my home HQ on AI control to see just what you guys are talking about and it just started moving all my ships around. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, that. <laughs> I was like yeah. I, I took it off straight away and then I was just like, Why are all my ships moving? <laughs> and my men. Cert, was... he's not looking. <laughs> See, everyone's drifting towards me. I'm employing... Oh, okay, never mind. I was just, like, hovering my mouse of everything. It's all central powers. Don't worry. We got the Union of South Africa. I might just give someone... Uh, an, I might just, like, release Ireland and... I don't know. I'm joking. <laughs> They're just going to get drunk and start fighting. They're going to be like... Oh. <laughs> it's going to fall into chaos and... The Nazis will infiltrate it. Does it yeah. actually allow you to separate the whole of UK? Like... You can't form Scotland. No, no. You no. Cannot, no. Ireland is the only thing I can do now. Okay. I wonder if they would get Belfast. Seeing as, well, it would it would still give you uh, Northern Ireland. I'm pretty sure it would just give you give yeah. them Southern Ireland. Oh. So I'm pretty sure you'd keep Belfast, which is majority of your IC. Apart from obviously Dublin has a IC there. Oh, I thought you meant uh, all overall in England. I said, what? See what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my IC is like, whoa. Birmingham has lots of IC. Uh, London has lots of IC. Bristol has. Cardiff has more than Bristol. Wow, Newcastle has way more than both. Glasgow's got a lot. What's up with the name Scapa Flow? Sorry? <laughs> Scapa Flow. There's an island that's right on top of, like, in Moray Firth in, like, in Scotland called Scapa Flow. Hey, it's down in where I have an airbase on it and then the entire gun. Scapa Flow. I have, oh, I have no like idea. A, yeah, I can, I can see it now, but I have no idea. I'm Scapa Flow. Up at, it's the opposite side of the country to me. Well, I'm not in Scotland. You don't know too much about your own country. <laughs> well, it's not my country. It's Scot Scottish, not Well, English. it is still your country, sort of. Yeah. Well, yeah, we do own the Scottish. <laughs> do you think Do you think they're going to get their independence in 2014? Or? Um, I don't know. They probably will, but I think it's a bit... I don't know. I think they'd do better to stay within us. Like, because they can vote mm -hmm. in our parliament, but we can't vote in their parliament and stuff like that. I just think it's a bit... I don't so, think they will be in 2014. Will they be able to? Um, I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I know they were like wanting it. But I mean, they had a referendum. I'm pretty sure. I could just be lying here, but I'm pretty sure the majority of people like well, it wasn't the majority. It was like fifth. Well, so it was the majority, but not a lot of people. Like I think it was like 56 percent to whatever. Um, 44 percent said they wanted it, wanted not to stay in the United Kingdom. But I could just be lying there. Um, All right. But yeah, who knows? I'm not, I don't think it'd be their wisest move. I think we offer them a lot. But. Wait a minute. I've got another destroyer section that's useful. <laughs> <laughs> More ships. If they're moving out now, but they fail to move out, then they're actually broken because they they show up as the first destroyer squadron, but they have zero in like. Oh, no, they, there they go. They just appeared in the ocean. You what? I do not trust these. I one see bit. them. I think you're drunk. You see them? Yeah. Yeah, but they just disappeared before. I'm going to want to make sure that they're actually in my... Yeah, there they are. First destroyer section, second destroyer section, third destroyer squadron, fourth destroyer squadron, reserve fleet is 21, mainly heavy cruisers, then the first navy... The HMS B11 Second Navy and the Home Fleet. Oh, we can break our non-aggression pact scene. How exciting! <laughs> if you had the no neutrality on, I mean, it's a shame that you can't actually use that online. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think it should be an there should be an option where it says like allow codes because I don't see no neutrality as a cheat. It just allow it doesn't give you any advantages except for the fact that it actually allows you to attack others. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think you should be able to attack people whenever, but it it comes. Yeah, this with only a lot of... neutrality thing isn't really that realistic because you have your own neutrality. But what if I, as the ruler of my nation, feel like yeah. I want to attack them? I, I don't just, want the AI yeah. to decide on 
There should just be what consequences, like for doing. There should be infamy. They should add infamy to this game. There's yeah. no infamy in this game. There's <laughs> like infamy in Victoria. In, 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 yeah, like in Victoria Two or or, or or U3. Whereas, like, let's say, depending on the country you are, and depending on who you're attacking, and depending on why you're attacking, to puppet, to conquest, to annex, to free, you should gain different amounts of IC or uh, infamy, so that the other would be like, hey, they would gain a causes belli to attack you yeah. without any consequences if you had too high of an infamy. That happened when I was playing as France uh, and I had like 200 and I in infamy in Victoria 2 but I was the strongest and none of the other powers dared to attack me so it just gained I just attacked yeah. country after country after country <laughs> after country and just gained like a million in, in infamy. It was you funny. horrible person. It was, it was good days. Um, <laughs> Well, it's not really as relevant in this game, and like if we add any more complexity to this game, my brain will just explode. Yeah, <laughs> it's very complex indeed. Okay, let's start stealing technology from the Germans. I've got ten spies in there, so I can pretty much see everything we're doing. Oh yeah, I haven't spent anything on spies. I've got thirty-one active spies abroad, and I've got seven spies. To... Why not Oh wow, I've got ninety-nine free spies. I'm just gonna do this. Why aren't you stealing from me? I have good tech. Yeah, I'll just put 10 spies in there so I'll let them build up and then I will. I'm All just right. putting like 10 spies in the top 5 countries. The ones with the the, so. the highest stuff. So me, Italy? <laughs> you, Italy, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Russia, China, oh God, China. Ottoman Empire. China is so just big. Look at it. Yeah, oh, I know. Oh my God, that is crazy. I wonder how Japan just took a chunk out of their meat without any consequences. <laughs> yeah. No, well, Kor like... Korea was a... Uh... Hey, I've got troops in Weihai. And I haven't got any troops there, but I have got a region there. Is that a place, yeah? Next yeah, that's no, right next to the Germans' place. You have to beat back the Germans there, no matter what, mm -hmm. all costs. My colonial, my colonial command is on AI, of course. But they have a hundred. They have more men in the colonial command than I have in my home command. <laughs> <laughs> but they're all like in India and spread out in but I've got a very big fleet there, Mediterranean fleet. Lots of battleships. Man, HMS Canada. Yeah, has anyone else noticed that if you go to the intelligence tab now you can't actually see anymore what kind of spy actions other nations are taking against you in your own country. Like you used to be able to see that, but right now I in, can't see uh, in their finest hour? Yeah, like, no, I mean, you used to be able to see that before Finest Hour, but I think they changed that. Either yeah. that or it's a bug, I don't know which one it is. Perhaps they removed it for this one, but I haven't laid notice to it, actually. Yeah, it's like, it would tell you that country X is counter espionaging in your country and yeah, whatever, so. Maybe it's more like as a result of the new spy system because now you have priority instead of just having yeah assassination attempt of our leader yeah okay <laughs> what did you discover me i'm joking <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> 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 yeah that was not me i don't even have that many spies yeah, yeah i do I have 10 but still i might attempt to coup <laughs> well you know sorry. like we're kind of reaching the danger zone. <laughs> yeah, we're all like threats. We're all like big like powers <laughs> who are just like itching to destroy each other in a big war while Germany just sits there and laughs uh, and eats no. stuff. <laughs> I'm joking anyway. You guys outnumber my IC by double, yeah. so it would never go too well for me. Yeah. I'd at well, least have to wait for the Germans to start attacking. Before yeah. To be honest, any country could probably like, I mean, if France is... Or in this case, if you occupy yourself with Germany, Italy could probably come in from below and just snatch as much as possible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even Sweden could probably take a big part of Russia if Russia was that busy on the Western Front yeah. or on the Eastern Front. But see, look how many troops they have out there. That's insane. So many troops just there by Norway. You can't see it, though, but... I cannot. Me and... You, we'll, we'll let you in soon. <laughs> we've already passed a year now. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of them. Whereabouts I don't know how long we've been actually been recording. I don't have a timer on me or anything. Um, someone um, should know. There ought to be someone that's more responsible than I am. 
Yeah. Well, I'm. Well, we, you did send me. Yeah, you sent me the IP. IP at 22. I reckon it take us took us at least. I 